Hi there, and welcome to another copycat with cables. My name's Mark, my handle on the forums is Andro, and today I'm going to be recreating a piece that I've seen on a web page from Monochrome and Minimal. Well, I'm not going to be recreating it exactly, but it's heavily inspired by. So this is a really great um, web page, which I would recommend checking out. Uh, I've been kind of inspired by this one, so I'm going to make a variation of it today. As you can see, some really nice stuff. Very simple tessellating patterns. It's basically uh, kind of very similar, if you look at this one, to the C64 Go To 10 classic, which is just basically this one line of code, which picks um, uh, a line which either points like this or like this, and then by randomly putting them together, we get this kind of like magic maze generator. So um, I'm going to go around, I'm going to recreate something like this today in cables. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to press escape. I'm going to put in a main loop. This I'm going to plug into a orbit controls so I can control the viewport with the mouse. I'm then going to plug this into a transform view. Uh, more on that later. A global scale because that's just something we normally always need. Uh, and then I'm going to plug this into a sequence op. I'm going to want to render everything to a texture. So I put in render to texture. I'm going to make a full screen rectangle. So I have a render context. Put that there. And just to get the basics going, I'm going to grab a transform op. And then I'm going to get a matcap material new, which is a basic material. And I'm going to go to files. And just to show you how you do it by yourself, I already have it here. You could click here, upload file. I've made a very simple object inside of Blender. I'm just going to load it now. It's going to get reloaded. So when you want to use uh, this, you can uh, download it um, or from the file or just upload your own model uh, with this template. So we're interested in the JSON file, not the OBJ. This is the converted model, which Cables understands. So we just pull that in. I'm going to pull this down. And there we have a shape on the screen. I want to use uh, a texture which illuminates it better. So I'll go here and it expects a matcap material. So we do that by grabbing a texture op. And we go to File, our built-in library of cables, and we've got a huge selection of matcap materials here at the bottom. Uh, I'm looking for Skeleton. It's a nice uh, warm one. And as you can see, this is just basically a cube where this corner is just pulled down to there. This, this is it. Just a really simple, a really simple shape, really simple rule. So now we've got the basics in place so this isn't too small for you all to see we now need to think how do we recreate what we saw there so um basically we need a uh, a grid of shapes so we've got a really cool op for this it's called uh, repeat 2d triggers all ops underneath number x number y times so i'm going to plug that in i'm going to put this on 10 by 10 and I'm going to plug X into transform position X, Y into transform position Z. And as you can see, it all kind of like flies out right now. So I'm going to go to transform view. I'm going to use position Z to move it back. And I'm going to rotate it on X to say 90 degrees. Now the center of uh, this repeat 2D is there basically. So if we click repeat 2D and click center, it looks like the, the maximum uh, bounds and um, centers the, the array of shapes basically. So it's going to click transform view. I'm just going to move it back. There we go. So this is a nice, uh, nice thing to start with. So basically it's really simple. Um, this shape can be rotated in four ways, 0, 90, 180, or 270 degrees. So we need to come up with a way to rotate each of these shapes by a random, uh, by one of those four random numbers, right? So first of all, we need to make a list of numbers. So I'm going to go to Pass Array, um, and then I'm going to click Edit. 
And as you can see, we um, make a new uh, index in the array by using a comma. So I'm going to go 0, 0, 0.0, comma, 90, comma, 180, comma, 270, comma. And I'm going to click Save. A very important thing here is click numbers, because right now they're a string, and later on I want to do some stuff with it. So if you want them just to be treated as numbers, it's important to um, select this. So I now have this parse array up. Let me just make a little bit more space on the screen. Um, and I'm going to plug this into a, um, sorry, one moment. Array get value. Okay. So this allows me to um, get a value out of the array. So if I click Pass Array and click this little magnifying glass, you can see the contents of the array, 0, 90, 180, 270. Okay, so I'm going to plug Array Get Value into Rotate Y. And just to show you what's going to happen here. So if I put it on 1, we look up the index of 1. If I put this on 2, so as you can see, we're, we're making the whole thing rotate here. So we're closer to where we need to be right now. So this works. That's great. So what's a little trick here? We're looking this up with like a value, a number. So I'm going to plug in a floor, which um, makes the number integra, uh, which means it's like not a floating point number with decimal values. So I'm going to plug in the index output from repeat 2D. And what this does is it outputs a number for each occurrence here. So as you can see, we rotate, 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 and then it's just stuck because there's nothing more. So first cool trick we could do is a modulo in between. So a modulo returns the remainder. And if I'm going to put this on three, well, we've got this pretty cool shape here. One, two, three. Uh, we could ping pong it. This is just to show you that we can already get some really cool results with just like a very simple rule here. So just wanted to show that for a moment. So we're going to get rid of modulo. So we want to look up a random number. So for this, the random numbers up is our friend. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to type in random numbers. So some people that aren't familiar with arrays, don't worry about it. They'll become more familiar with time. We want to look up uh, one of the values from this array. So there's four values in here, 0, 90, 180, 270. So this is 0, this is 1, this is 2, and this is 3. Something that confuses beginners is this array has a length of 4. There's four values. So if we look at parse array, we can see we've got a length here. So I'm going to plug this into random numbers max. And now I'm going to make sure that the minimum is 0. So the problem we've got is we don't have a fourth value in our array. We have 0, 1, 2, 3. So we can easily fix this by just going here. And we say subtract. We just want to subtract 1. And now our maximum number is 3 and our minimum number is 0. So, wow, we've already come pretty close to making something uh, based upon what we saw. So what about if we want to get a different variation on this? Well, we just go to seed, which is here. I'm just going to pull it out so it's easy to see. Grab a value up, and as you can see, it's called random seed. And now by clicking and dragging here, I can get all these variations. Um, on, um, on this piece. So this is pretty cool. Uh, in a very short amount of time, we've got like a little generative piece um, going on here. So this is pretty cool. We've, we've got the basics like nailed. But this is cables, and I like doing stuff in real time with cables. So this is something I'd like to do. I'd like this to be able to morph between, say, two um, different arrays. So we have a basic array here. So how about I do this? I pull out the array, and I type in shuffle array. Now, shuffle array expects um, an array to come in. And if I now click this, I can see that the contents of shuffle array are shuffled, as its name says. Uh, if I click execute, we get a different um, shuffle there. So um, this is great, but how do we like mix between the two? Well, that's really simple. We have the array interpolate up. And this interpolates between two arrays. 
So I'm going to grab this op. So I'm going to get my original array and plug it into array one. I'm going to get my shuffled array. I'm going to plug it into array two. And this expects uh, a trigger. So I'm going to just go to render to texture. I'm going to plug that in. And here we're going to have like a shuffled uh, array and a normal array. Okay. So I'm now going to um, the array get value. I'm going to disconnect that. I'm going to get this new array here and I'm going to plug it in now. Now, if I click array interpolate and move this number, we can morph from one array to another, which I just think is all kinds of awesome, basically. So this is like a really, really simple trick. So while we're at this, let's um, let's just do something very quickly. I'm going to make a sidebar, which is to build custom controls. I'm going to add a slider. Um, and I'm going to get rid of this random seed, and I'm going to plug this in there and plug it into random seed. And that's just so I can now just quickly do this in the window. OK, awesome. So. We've already come like really close to just recreating this piece, and we could now create any set of rules. We could go into parse array and add more different uh, rotations here, and it'd all be dynamic and fit because uh, we've used subtract random numbers with max, so this will always adapt to whatever we're going to put in here. We can replace the 3D model with any one of our own. We could use different materials. So there's one last thing I want to do because I kind of like was building all this to animate it. So I'm going to make a um, timer two. And the timer two, I'm going to plug into a modulo because I want it to kind of loop. And I'm just going to leave that on two. That's OK. Um, but I don't, I don't want, uh, sorry, I don't want this with the floating point numbers. I want them whole. So I'm going to plug this into floor. And the floor, I'm now going to plug into a average interpolation op. Um, and as you can see, we've got a number that swaps between 0 and 1. 0 and 1. And I'm going to put the divisor on like 64 which means it's going to become a lot smoother. You know what, I'll just put that back for now so you can just see what's happening. So this expects um, a trigger. So I'm going to go to render to texture. I'm going to plug that in. And this array interplay, I want values between 0 and 1, right? So I'm going to get this. I'm going to plug it into interplay. And as you can see, it's going really fast now. So we've just got to tweak this so it's more what we want. So I'm going to put the time on 0 0.1, first of all. And it's going to take a while to hit like a whole number. Let's give it a moment. There we go. And I now want it to go slower. So I'm going to put this on, say, 64. So let's see what's going to happen here. So it's going to hit one, and then boom. There we go. We have a piece which morphs from one state to another. We can also now use slider to generate different random seeds. So uh, this is my introduction to recreating uh, the pieces that I saw from Monochrome and Minimal. Please check out their work. It's really cool stuff. Um, I hope you found this video inspiring, educational, and you've learned some cool new tricks along the way. Uh, the link to the patch will be underneath the video. Uh, thanks for your time. Have a good day. Bye.